Whenever I get tired of dealing with girls in general or in specific, when I get tired of whatever silly drama or insecurity is plaguing me through them at this time, <coughs> I like to listen to a little Nora Jones. It's like a reminder of what I like about women. I want a girl who acts like Nora Jones sounds. So today, the power went out of my house, and uh, the sky was brilliant. It was an amazing sky, so I'll use the image for this video. And I met a new associate today, who, her car was dead, and so I jumped it for her. And <laughs> I, I did my section and was very adamant about making sure that they, you know, positive to positive. And her car has little yellow and black color coded leads, which is great. So she, I watched her do it. She got in her car. She started the engine. I connected my side. She connected her side. I watched her do it. She starts the engine. And I thought, oh, that's weird. She, nothing happens. <laughs> she gets out. She's like, uh, nothing's happening. You ever done this before? She's like, no, not really. I'm like, okay, well, I think you did pretty good. <laughs> she put the little clamps on over the rubber covers that go over her battery leads. <laughs> I found that incredibly amusing. So let's see. What else? Not much. I've got a bit of a headache today. Just massive headache. Um, allergies probably. My mom was a little freaked out still. Everything seems to remind her of Nana's passing. But that's kind of the way my mom is. She needs to get out more often. Since the power was out for a few hours in my neighborhood, the uh, paramedics drove up and down the street checking on any of the old people who had some sort of um, life support or equipment or something that they needed, you know. One of the high risk people, I guess you'd say. That was about it. There's some sort of area CEO, head honcho person coming into the store. So I've been driving around the parking lot listening to everyone freak out. I'm just <coughs> waiting for you to come on home. So what else? I'm thinking I might get the new the new uh, Call of Duty when it comes out on Tuesday. The deal is, is I found a $50 video game in Walmart that was mistagged, 1996. And I tried to mention it to the associate and he said, you really want to make me go all the way to the case and get you one? You sure you want it? Yeah. No. Wait. I was thinking, I don't really want the game. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you guys know that it's price drop. He goes, yeah, I would worry about it. If there's more than eight of them in a line, or there's more than two of them there, then we got to match the price. So uh, give me a minute. I'll go get the keys. I don't know that I want the game, man. I just want you to know the right price. <laughs> he looks at me and says, well, if I got to go all the way over to the case and open it, you might as well get the game. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh, okay, I, not necessarily. You could just go do your job and change the price tag. So we go over there and it's like I played, I played Gothic two and three. I don't know if this one's any good. Yeah, I don't know either, but you give it a try. I don't know, maybe. Cause let's ring it up, see what it comes up to. Forty nine ninety nine. So I got it for nineteen ninety six. My thoughts are, I don't even think I'm going to open it. I think I'm just going to take it to a GameStop with it still wrapped up and say, Hey, I got this as a gift. Can I trade this in? And that will almost entirely get me a copy of the new... 
Call of Duty Hello, for 20 sir. bucks off. How cool is that? 